The electrified double track project from Saramban to Gamas has been implemented by the government of Malaysia to upgrade the railway infrastructure, including signaling and communication, plus to increase the speed, frequency, capacity, and operational efficiency of train services whilst enhancing the safety of passengers. The government awarded the contract for this new project to Aircon International Limited on a design and build basis comprising of infrastructure works, permanent way, overhead electrification, station buildings, staff quarters, workshops, signalling, communication and other related works at a total cost of 3,450 million ringgit Malaysia. Aircon is also responsible for maintenance for two years. The project was executed under the aegis of the Ministry of Transport and its representative Kretapi Tanam Layu Berhad with the assistance of project management consultant KLIA Consultancy Services Sandirian Berhad. In addition to its own large force of railway experts and engineers from India, Aircon employed well-known consultants of Malaysia, like KL Consult Sandirian Berhad, Sepakat Setia Perunding Sandirian Berhad and Daz Azman Architects, Simmons, KPS Rail, reputed engineering companies like IJM Norwest JV, Fajabaru, Lo and Lo, Encore, Atoran Prisma were involved in the construction activities of this mega-project. The new meter gauge double track starts from Saramban in the north to Gamas in the south with a route length of 98.27 kilometers. The project was started in 18th January 2008 and was executed in two phases. The first phase comprised of a section from Saramban to Sungai Gadot, an 11 kilometer stretch, and was successfully completed on the scheduled date of 30th April 2011 at a cost of about 466 million ringgit Malaysia. The completed stretch has two new stations at Senawang and Sungai Gadot. These new stations are now connected to the Klang Valley by the commuter services of KTMB. The second phase comprised of a section from Sungai Gadot to Gamas, an 87-kilometer stretch, and was also successfully completed on the scheduled date of 31st July 2013 at a total cost of 2.9 billion ringgit Malaysia. This newly completed phase two has four new stations at Rambau, Tampin, Batang Melaka, and Gamas. Now the trains can ply on this new section at an operational speed of 140 km per hour, which reduces the journey time between KL and Singapore by about 30 minutes. Passengers can now be assured of enhanced comfort, a smooth ride and greater operational safety. The Siramban Gimas Double Tracking Project is the single largest contract procured by Recon International either in India or abroad, so far in terms of value. It had numerous challenges, like the new double track alignment was running in the same corridor, and it has two double tracks. The new double track were cutting at about 36 locations to the existing alignment, and therefore, uh, numerous diversions were to be made to make the track work go in a smooth fashion. As you know that ballasting and temping is not possible without giving good lead for them. So diversions were necessary for creating the lead for these machines uh, and for this work. Then it was a project which involved all the facets of railway working. It was not only infra works, that is the track, the buildings, the bridges and all that, which a civil engineer is like me, is conversant, but it involved a very advanced uh, signaling and telecommunication work and the overhead electrical works also. So this was naturally a challenge uh, for me and uh, for my team. 
The horizontal and vertical profile of the existing old track was comprehensively refined to achieve design speeds of 160 km per hour and operating speeds of 140 km per hour against 90 km per hour on the old track. The new double track has mostly been accommodated in the existing railway corridor, except a few locations where it becomes necessary to acquire land to achieve higher design speeds. Soil investigation or SI survey was carried out to assess the subsoil conditions of the whole corridor. The methods of ground treatment comprising of stone column and removal and replacement were adopted based on site conditions to ensure that the new foundation is suitable for dynamic stresses caused by higher speeds, increased frequency and heavier loads. The earthwork for the new track was properly planned to optimize the cut and fill with least adverse impact on the local ecosystem. All the cut slopes were properly retained and stabilized with the RE wall, sole nails, contiguous board piles and crib walls. Malaysia experiences heavy rainfall throughout the year. The annual rainfall is in excess of 3,900 mm. Hydrological studies on the watersheds were carried out to assess the magnitudes and frequency of the design flood discharge. These investigations considered the existing watershed condition and the projected urbanization of catchment areas and other relevant hydrological data. Based on these hydrological studies, the level of double track has been kept higher than the anticipated maximum flood levels. Plus, sufficient capacity cross-drainage structures and river bridges have been provided all along the track. The new stations have been constructed at a safe plinth level to ensure uninterrupted operations during times of flood. The whole alignment is safeguarded by the extensive labyrinth of drains that include trackside drains, interceptor drains, berm drains, cascade drains, and on-site detention or OSD facilities. Large number of structures including 35 bridges over rivers, 3 viaducts, 14 road over bridges. 8 road underbridges, 13 vehicular box culverts, 124 culverts, Nine motorbike and pedestrian bridges have been constructed. All the new bridges over the rivers have sufficient clear span and free board that meets the requirement of the local authority, JPS. Level crossings have been replaced with new grade separating structures, resulting in better safety of road users and uninterrupted train operations. Bridges of integral type, characterized by their monolithic moment resisting connection between superstructure and abutments and without any expansion or contraction joints, have been adopted in the project. These integral bridges have enhanced load distribution, greater degree of redundancy and lower maintenance cost. We could thus eliminate bridge bearings, which entails higher maintenance costs. The new track structure consists of UIC 54 rails laid on monoblock pre-stressed concrete sleepers. A minimum 300mm ballast cushion has been provided above a 300mm sub-ballast layer. The above arrangement has been placed over a 100mm geotextile and sand blanket laid above a firm subgrade. In this project, we have used Vaslo Kojifar type of turnout. The turnouts are coming in three segments, pre-assembled and all the intermediate segments are 80 weldable at site. Even the SRJ or the crossing of the turnouts are 80 weldable. We have used thick wave switches and the base plates are self-lubricating type of base plates. They are coated with the molybdenum and we uh, rollers are attached on the base plate so as to make the tongue rail roll over the rollers. The crossing body is explosively pre-hardened and also 80 weldable. In this project, we have used all the glued joints which are made up of head hardened rails. Uh, recently, we have done the track recording for this project. Actually, this project was commissioned on 31st of July and we did the recording on 29th of the October, that is three months later. As per KTMB manual, any recording, any TQI value that is coming less than 40 is an excellent kind of track. And our readings for the upline is 27 average and for the downline is average reading is 25. So this shows the excellent quality of track that has been constructed between Gimas to Sirambad. 
Six new station buildings have been provided, namely at Senawang, Sungai Gadot, Brumbau, Tampin, Batang Laka, and Gamas. Railway stations are designed as aesthetically attractive modernistic buildings and incorporate vernacular features to reflect unique Malaysian cultural identity. It has architectural form that reflects progression and innovation curved geometry that creates dynamism, the naturally well-lit and ventilated spaces with visual links to the landscape exterior that is refreshing and relaxing to passengers. The choice of architectural style, materials and built form presents a modern interpretation of sustainable tropical railway station design without compromising comfort, operational efficiency and safety of passengers. These stations are poised to be new centers of socio-economic transformations by boosting local transportation, commerce and tourism. All major stations, including Booking Come Passenger Information Office, Station Manager's Office, Passenger Waiting Hall, Male and female prayer rooms with ablution facility, VIP room with attached toilet and hot or cold water shower facilities, shopping space and retail areas. Staircases and escalators are wide enough to cater to the anticipated increased passenger traffic and service lifts have been provided on each platform. Passenger and train information panel boards, announcement system and CCTV have been installed at strategic locations. Adequate signages have been provided within and inside the station premise, including car park areas and platform areas. Station premise are disabled friendly, with special ramps, floors studded with directional tiles for the visually impaired and special toilets for the handicapped. Platforms are interconnected to each other with overhead bridge built over the tracks. Excess road with suitable egress-ingress, dedicated taxi car drop-off pickup areas and car parks in line with local authority requirements have been provided to encourage park and ride. We have built total six new station buildings in this project and various miscellaneous buildings at Gamas Yard for maintenance requirement of KTMB. That is the uh, oily depot uh, for maintenance of oily machines and other oily infrastructure. PV depot for maintenance of PV machines and other PV related infrastructure. Loco workshop for maintenance of locomotives. Uh, administrative building for offices of KTMB officials and their staff staff quarters and surau for housing of KTMB officials and their families. And all sensitive equipment rooms are provided with automatic fire prevention and control system. All common areas uh, we have provided manual fire control system uh, like portable extinguishers and uh, pressurized water hose reel system. The system equipment installed in this project are in line with the international standards and proven in many other railways as safe and reliable and easy to maintain. Uh, IRCON has commissioned three aspect color light automatic signaling using West Trace electronic interlocking. Automatic signaling will give line capacity of more than 150 trains per day on each of the double track. Bi-directional signaling has been provided. Centralized traffic control has been provided at KMAS and also at KL Central, which has features like automatic route setting as per programmed timetable, interface to passenger information system for online accurate train information. For safety and security of passengers and KTM staff, CCTV has been provided at each station which can be monitored from centralized traffic control at KMAS and KL Central. The overhead line system is designed and built to distribute the electrical traction power to all electrically powered trains operating in the system. The OLE system in this project has been at 25 kV AC and designed at maximum speed of 160 km per hour. The 25 kV AC system uh, is fed by two feeder stations, one at Rambau and uh, one at Batang Melaka. Irkon has its own highly equipped machineries 
and OLE teams which has done this work within stipulated time and with proper quality norms. For this project we have provided a standard SCADA which is controlled by two CTC places, one at Kuala Lumpur and another at Gamas and all the PSI equipments including motorized isolators are operated by the SCADA system which have redundancy. The first time in Malaysian railway history we have introduced harmonic dampers. This will not only eliminate the harmonics generated by rolling stocks but also save OLE from line resonance. The defect liability period has started which has started from 1st of August 2013 and will end on uh, 31st July 2015. It is with the God blessings that we could complete the work in time and we obtained the certificate of practical completion also. It could not have been possible but for the tireless efforts day and night put in by my team and by my predecessors and the timely help from corporate office. So I am very happy I can say and thanks to all who have put in all the labor in this project. IRCON is committed to provide world-class infrastructure in the transportation sector. IRCON urged to stay ahead.